This is your CBS News Baltimore afternoon update for March 8th. I'm Amy Kawada. Baltimore County Police say a 17 year old girl is behind a series of threats against schools. Threats to injure students were received against Aberdeen High School and Eastern Tech High School just this week. The girl allegedly boasted about making the threats and getting away with it. She's now accused of threats against eight schools across Baltimore, Harford, and Montgomery counties. No charges have been filed, and she was released to her parents. A judge rules five suspects charged in the Brooklyn Day mass shooting will have three separate trials. Tristan Jackson and Aaron Brown, both 18 years old, will be tried together. While two minors will also have a joint trial and a third will be tried on his own. Two people were killed and 28 others were hurt back on July 2nd in what was Baltimore's largest mass shooting in history. A resolution by City Council member Sharon Green Middleton was discussed in a hearing last night about Baltimore's bike infrastructure. Baltimore adopted the ordinance Complete Streets back in 2018 to make roads safer for bike riders and pedestrians. Now, while the City Department of Transportation says its approach is not one size fits all, there's now a call for a moratorium on new bike lanes, the removal of some existing ones, and a pause on the city's ordinance. Bike More, a nonprofit working with the DOT to monitor and advise on infrastructure plans, says it supports the Complete Streets Ordinance. And that's your afternoon update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Amy Kawada.